morning everybody i hope you had a wonderful night's sleep today is a beautiful blessed and wonderful day that the lord has created and if you opened your eyes today then you are already blessed no matter what you got going on in your life right now no matter the circumstances you are here you are alive and you are above ground which makes you blessed. With that being said, if you have not spent time connecting with the Lord, trying to understand his character, connecting in a deep, passionate, intimate relationship with him, and spending some time in prayer, then as always, I got you. Let's do it together. Let's grow together spiritually. This one is coming out of 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 9, and it says this, do not repay evil with evil, or insult with insult. On the contrary, repay evil with blessing, because to this you were called so that you may inherit a blessing. And the study note says this, in our fallen world, it is often deemed acceptable by some to tear people down verbally to get back at them if we feel hurt. Peter, remembering Jesus' teaching to turn the other cheek, encourages his readers to pay back wrongs with blessings, such as by praying for the offenders. In God's kingdom, revenge is unacceptable. Behavior, as is insulting a person, no matter how indirectly it is, rise above getting back at those who hurt you instead of reacting angrily to these people. Pray for them. When I read this verse, I cannot help but think about many of the Christians that are in my comments when they come across people that attack our faith, attack God's word, and attack Jesus. The teaching that Peter has here, do not repay evil for evil and insult with insult. But I am constantly reading through my comments and seeing Christians repaying evil for evil and insult with insult. You guys, I completely understand it. I, I understand how difficult it is to not get into your feelings every time someone attacks your faith, attacks the Bible, and attacks Jesus. But just remember in John 15, 18, when Jesus says, if the world hates you, remember they hated me first. It is difficult, I understand it, but we need to be firm in our faith. We need to trust that God is going to work in those people's lives. And we cannot plant seeds in those people's lives if we are repaying insult for insult. Today in my uh, church sermon, uh, my pastor said this. He said, when people see or follow you, does it make them closer or further from Jesus? If you are repaying insult for insult, is it going to draw those people to the light that's supposed to be inside of you? Is it going to draw those people closer to Jesus? We need to be setting the example. And if biting your tongue sets that example, then you need to do the best that you can to do that and to honor Christ. Um, we need to be the thermostat not the thermometer in the room. We need to set that example. And just as my pastor said today in his sermon, when crazy comes at you, don't return it with crazy. Return it with love, peace, joy, and the light of Jesus. Y'all, as always, I hope and I pray that this word has spoken to you today. I pray that the Lord is speaking to your heart. Let's go ahead and wrap this up with a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray in Jesus' mighty and gracious, wonderful name. Lord, we ask that you help us to understand. Help us to bite our tongue when those come at us and attack our faith. Remind us, Lord, that if the world hates us, that it hated Jesus first. And we are to be the seed planters. And we cannot plant those seeds and expect you to water them if we are attacking other people. If we are repaying insult for insult, anger for anger, crazy for crazy. We need to be planting those seeds and doing our best to bite our tongue and turn the other cheek just as Jesus teaches us. Lord, we thank you for blessing us. We ask, Lord, that you please connect with us. Help us to know, love, and serve you and understand your character and better understand the teachings of your word every single day. Father, we thank you in Jesus' mighty and gracious, wonderful name. Amen. You guys, I love y'all. I hope you have a blessed and wonderful, amazing day.
God bless.